Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am back with another Swift UI app or you can say Swift UI design. In this video, we are going to create a weather app design. Just we are going to focus on the design part in this video and it is very minimalistic. So even if you are a beginner, you can continue with this tutorial. So without wasting any time, let's start with the video. Let's create a new Xcode project. Let's make it an app, then give it a name. So weather app tutorial then we will just click on next and make sure it is swift ui then we will create the folder and uh, then we will just be redirected to our coding space now i don't want the canvas so i will just uh, disable this and i will just run this default app in the simulator and wait for it to complete building and here is my simulator so after the app is launched right here now we are ready to just code our app. I have some assets for you to download. These assets are downloaded from FreePick and Flat Icon. So you can just download them and we will continue with the project further. I have provided a link to a font in the assets that I have given. So in this asset we have an Orbitron font. So we will need to import this in our project in order to use it. So what we need to do is we will need to create a new group right here. So click on the root directory again and then click on new group and in this group we will name it fonts. Uh, fonts, uh, I have entered the wrong spelling so I will just rename it. So delete it and create it again once again. So new group and I will name it fonts. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want uh, our Orbitron font uh, right there. So first of all, we will rename this. So Orbitron font. So it will be easy for us later. So now what we need to do is we will drag and drop this inside the fonts folder and make sure to copy items if needed and uh, check the weather app tutorial or whatever folder name you have uh, selected then click on finish now we can just minimize this and we can continue further so what we need to do is now we will i will just close this tab so what we need to just do now is uh, click on the root directory of your project like this then from here you can just uh, uh, come to the info tab and then here you will find many keys but we need to create a new key so we will just add a uh, click on the plus icon after the bundle version or after the last option whichever you have so click on the plus icon now we will type fonts provided by the application and it will auto complete this and hit enter now what we need to do is the most crucial step is we will need to enter the name of our font exactly as it is so right here there will be an item zero if you just uh, expand this there will be a item zero which we will need to enter so now we will just enter the name of a font so or be tron dash font dot ttf don't forget to add the extension so i just uh, changed the name to make it simple just because of this step because many people make mistake here in entering the name and uh, spend hours in debugging so let's just hit enter and we have successfully imported our font what we will do is we will come in the script and then we will just change the text of this font only so we will say dot font dot custom uh, custom and then we will give the name so orbitron uh, regular so all the fonts will be included bold regular italic because we have imported the orbitron font then after doing this we will give the size of the font which uh, we will say for now let's say 48 pixels now we will just save this and run this uh, run this to check if the font was applied and here you can see our new font is applied in our application we start with coding our app so we will just remove all these things from here uh, till the vstack so we have removed everything now we will start from scratch i will just increase the area of this and a little bit zoom and now we are ready to code so first of all what we need to do is in the view we will need to change the background color so we will just give it a color 
and we will further overlay that color so we will give it a custom color of rgb 8 uh, green of 8 uh, by 255 and finally uh, blue of 32 by 255 now we will need to ignore safe area and after this we will need to add an overlay in this overlay means we will just add a layer above this so it's just like a z stack now after doing this inside the overlay what we will do is we will just make the overlay right here so what we will do is we will add a v stack inside this and inside the v stack inside the v stack we need an edge stack so this is the base um, structure of our app now after doing this much we will need to add a spacer spacer because in this edge stack is for our app bar that will be going to be on the top which will contain the date day and uh, the ellipsis symbol so for that we will first start with a spacer to leave some space right over here then after adding the spacer what we need to do is we will create a new text which will contain today's date so let's say 19th august and the day today is saturday so we will just add that day so because we are not uh, focusing much on the backend part in this video so we will keep it a static text uh, if you are working like uh, you are requesting an api so you can just uh, edit that text accordingly but for now we are just uh, going through the design part so we will just keep this static now after doing this we will keep the foreground color to white for this and uh, we will just change the font to custom as we did to test it and it will be orbitron regular now after doing this we will add a size and in this size for now we will need a size of 28 now after doing this much we will need an another spacer to leave space some space between the ellipsis symbol and our text so we will leave the spacer and now we will just create a new button and in this button we don't need any action so uh, we will leave the action uh, as it is so because we no, don't need it for now so we will leave the action and then what we will do is we will continue with the designing so uh, in, now in this we will need an image uh, the image will be system name of this image is ellipsis itself so system name uh, then it will be ellipsis like this now we will need to just uh, do some editing in this so first of all we will need to resize this and uh, uh, change the color of this to white to match our theme then uh, what we need to do is we will need to fix an expect ratio for this so it does not uh, uh, move uh, it does not look weird if we just change the uh, width and height so we will just make it fit like this and after doing this we will just add a frame frame in the frame we will give a width and height of uh, 30 if you keep only width or only height it's okay because we have fixed the aspect ratio so in this way width and height will be 30 and we will give some rotation effect because by default the ellipse symbol is uh, horizontal in ios so to make it vertical we will just uh, add uh, a rotation effect of 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees uh, of degrees uh, of minus 90 so after doing this much let's just save this and try to reload the app here you can see that our app bar is ready now we can further move on towards the uh, main content of our app uh, we will need to come to the main content so after the edge stack right over here uh, we will continue by adding a spacer first of all so this is a spacer and then after that spacer we will give a text uh, text will be our uh, the de degrees that is the temperature the main temperature and uh, we will just add a text and uh, i have copied a degree symbol 
which you can copy from the description so if you paste this degree symbol it will look like this and after this we will just add a foreground color for it to white so basically we are doing it for all the text so we will just copy this part right here and we will paste it right here now what we will do is uh, we just change the font size to 84 because this is the main text that will be going to shown in the page and uh, we will make the font style to bold instead of regular now after doing this much we will again add a spacer and uh, after adding the spacer we will uh, create an image for now because we are creating a clear weather so it will be of sun and by the way we will need to import the assets in our app so after coming here there is an option for assets so you can click on that assets option and uh, right here i have provided all the assets so you can just select them all like this and just drag and drop here so all the assets will be imported now after we have imported all the assets so the sun is also available right here so if we see here it is here is the sun now what we need to do is we will need to resize this so make it resizable now we will need to make it scale to fit the uh, screen size or whatever frame we have given it and then we will give it a frame now the frame will be of width and height 200 so width uh, will be 200 and height will also be 200 so after doing this our image is ready now we will move on further to another text which is which will not contain spacer because this is the main content which is together so we will create a text and we will just say do not so this is just a basic tagline which you can give according to the weather that is going on so you can just justify the mood of that weather so foreground color we will say foreground color we want to make it white and uh, i will just scroll down and then what we will do is uh, we will again the font thing so we will copy this thing right over here and paste it again now in this font uh, what we need to do is uh, let it be bold and just change the size so we will just change the size of this font to be 38 now what we will do is uh, we will add the location text so again we will need a text uh, this will be um, according to the location so i will add mumbai india but you can add any location or according to if you add a backend or through an api so you can keep it uh, according to what place the user enters so i will just copy the font thing right here and paste it again and just change the foreground color to pink because to match the theme of this app and then finally we will just add this make this font size to regular and the size will be 24 so to make it small so this was the part for the main content we will just end it by adding a spacer now let's check what we have did till now so i will just click on run again and the app will reload so build succeeded as you can see and here it is we have finally created the main content now comes the footer content uh, that we will do in the next part spacer now we come to the bottom part which is humidity precipitation and wind force so we will complete this part quickly so we will just add an edge stack right here and uh, inside this edge stack there will be three v stacks so first of all we will design first one and then we will copy it three times so if it would be a big project we would have done like we would have made it in a different view and then just uh, refer to that view and uh, add, added the parameters but for now we are doing it just for the design part so we can do we can just copy and paste it again and again so first we will add an image image will be of the storm uh, because it is the wind speed so the most uh, uh, close image to that is storm so now we will make it resizable we will make it scale to fit and then finally we will give it a frame of width of something like 60 and height also of 60 because we have made it scale to fit 
I will just hide the console and we will again come down and now we want to create a new text widget or text and then we will um, give it a, a text of force now again we want to give the foreground color and the font so we will just copy it from here and uh, just paste it right over here and uh, after doing this we will just check if the colors are same so the color we want is white and it is white and the second thing we want to make sure it is bold and the third thing is the size which we want to change so make it 16 so now this text is looking perfect so now we will move on to another text which would be text and it would be the value of this so let's say for now we will take it 6 km per hour so this would be a, a value coming from your back end so I will, I will go through that part in some another video if this video gets a good response so we will just change the foreground color to pink and uh, after doing this we will just scroll down and uh, after this the, again the font part which we will copy from here and uh, the font size is uh, and size and weight is the same so we will not uh, edit that from here so everything looks good now what we need to do is we want to copy this and paste this v stack three more times but along with the spacer every time so from here we will just add a spacer after this v stack make sure to add it under the h stack now after this spacer we will just copy this v stack and then paste it down here now we just want to change this values so in the second there will be an image of humidity let's check the spelling humidity and then uh, everything same then we want to change the text below so we will just copy this paste this and make this capital now we want to change the value so we will give it a random value of 42 percent and uh, percent symbol okay everything looks good again add a spacer and uh, let's create another v stack let's copy this one and then paste it below and the last thing is precipitation so i will just copy the spelling of that and paste it right here just uh, paste it right here also make this p capital and then uh, sorry and then uh, the last thing is give it a value so value will be around seven percent so to make it more look more natural and after doing this our design is complete let's just reload the app so here you can see we have created a simple minimalistic uh, weather app design we will look at the back end part afterwards but for now we have created the most basic design so if you want to change the image right here what you can simply do is you can come right over here in the image and make it according to what you want so i want let's say snow so i will just uh, make sure the asset is right here so i if i make it snow and just reload the app so it becomes a, a snow uh, icon so you can import more icons like this and play with that so that was it for this video if you if you like the video make sure to like this video below and also uh, comment down if you want uh, backend part and subscribe my channel thanks for watching